It's Bourbon Hello. Nights. Happy Halloween, everyone. How are you? Sorry, I had something playing there. Uh, it's Halloween. It is Halloween. We and, love it. And uh, we're going to do some Halloween candy pairing for a lot of us. You don't like your drink. So you try to make it red. For a lot of us uh, here on mm. in this time zone, trick or treat teen is now over. It's over. We gave out our candy. People on the West Coast, I guess it's still... I guess maybe it's just now starting, or we'll be starting in an hour. I can't. I don't know. Sure. But however time works. However time works, you will have leftover candy, and we're here to do some experimenting. We did no planning as far as uh, research. We are going to be doing it on the fly, and we'll be taking yeah. your suggestions. If it's something within reach, we will grab we'll it. We'll do it. We have a completely new unopened bag of candy. I have some a mystery bag of candy <laughs> here as well. So in front of us we have some. I want to make sure I say this right because we get made fun of on the internet when we say it wrong. Reese's. Reese's. Reese's peanut butter cups or Reese's if you prefer, like uh, we do. Kit Kats, Heath bars, and Whoppers, and then um, some more like. Uh, what do you call those? Other candy that I like, <laughs> just because it's not name brand candy, Chad. These are Tony's chocolates. This is a salted caramel milk chocolate, which is really good. Uh, and then I also have these things, which are like if a Kit Kat and a Nutter Butter had a baby. Mm -hmm. um, it's like a crispy mm -hmm. wafer with I like those. milk chocolate also. Yo. And then I'm also, I found some Butterfingers. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. Butterfingers. Got those, got those as and well. And... Good. Twix. And Twix. And a Twix. So I think we're, I feel we're missing staple wise is a Snickers, which is actually my favorite. Oh no. But that's okay. You know, I feel like we can, we can all imagine it in our minds. We can imagine what a Snickers First like. super chat of the evening comes from Tony. He says, hey -o. happy Halloween. Currently walking around Nashville trick or treating with my girlfriend, drinking some barrel proof for me. Oh, drink some barrel proof for me. Oh, I thought I you like, were whoa. drinking barrel proof. That sounds fun. Uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll probably get there. Yes. So what happened here <laughs> is that I tried to make a hot toddy, but then I was like, ooh, I want to make it fun and red. So I have some hibiscus berry tea, but that combined with the rye that I use just tastes like medicine. Mm -hmm. So don't do that. We learned a lesson. Just leave a hot toddy alone. Just do a hot toddy. Just do a hot toddy. Don't try to make it fancy yeah. like me because this is gross uh, <laughs> it's spooky so we're not i it's thought it was spooky, gonna be spooky. scary Ugh. none boys I, becoming men this men becoming i was wolves. like ooh, i have my little potion uh but uh to tony we will cowbell cheers you with i guess uh, i'll use my dead rise again cocktail i was last year's uh halloween uh, cocktail episode yeah which we actually just today cut it up for um tiktok if you're following us on tiktok and then we've also put it on instagram, instagram live content so go check it out if you haven't already seen it on youtube trick or drink that's cute mm -hmm. eric white whiskey <laughs> studies that's adorable <laughs> i love that that is uh is chad supposed to be the dressed up as the drummer from blink 182 travis parker no i don't have any any uh, visible tattoos? This just smells like peanut butter. I can't I'm... quite figure his costume out. Uh, it was a little. It was a little last minute. You know, I didn't want to go full Loki again, like I did on Friday's episode. Um, so I just kind of got some things out of the drawer. He's been holding on to him. He's been waiting. <laughs> I am a witch, obviously, and I got a true witch right here on my shirt. There you go, Stevie. Stevie. Yeah, Stevie. She's a witch. Uh, but thank you, Eric, for that super chat, as well as Jeff Winbush. Who says, what bourbon goes well with a peppermint patty? Asking for a friend. Is that friend you? That's funny because I was trying to get a little bit of inspiration before we got on here. And it said to do a... Oh, One moment, please. That's good. Oh, no. I had, just, I had just seen it. I think it was... I saw a Weller 107 with a... Like, um, I might think the like coconut a, one. Like, like a rye. Yeah, Whistle Pig Tenure with peppermint patties. Mm, See, but mm -hmm. I think that's going to be too minty. I think it's like minty in the whiskey and minty in the candy. I think it's just yep. going to be an explosion of mintiness. And I don't explosion know about that. Explosion of flavor. I think you need something to offset the minty. 
like something that goes more with the chocolatey, hmm. so that it allows the mint to just do its thing. I hear ya. Well, we don't have any mint. We don't have any peppermint patties. We don't. I'm sorry. Dang. I feel like I just saw another one though. Shoot. That's something we should have on hand all the time. <laughs> this article says Evan Williams single barrel with a York peppermint patty. Okay. Can't confirm or deny because, mm. and again, I didn't actually take any of these things for what right. we're doing tonight. Right. I was just looking for some inspiration, inspiration. but I found well, we, it. I did not. We better get something in our glass because we just got a string of super chats. Okay. So we will, uh, how about we start, uh, I don't know, let's start lower proof. There's some things over there. Yeah, there I've are. I've gathered them. Um... Do you want to start? Sure. 100 is not exactly low proof, but... Lower than some things. This is actually a little uh, announcement, you could say, because... Oh, look, it's a pick. That's Chad. <laughs> that's me. And there's also a bottle that's Sarah, because there's two single barrel picks of this. This will uh, begin being available tomorrow, tomorrow. to uh, top tier patrons, and then uh, down it works this way. the ladder it goes. But this is a Wilderness Trail... Um, call this the Chad variant or the Sarah variant. It's one of those ones, as soon as I tasted it, like we tasted it obviously when we picked it, but once the bottles showed up last week and I tasted it, I was like, this is a food pairing bourbon. Yeah. Uh, and so how perfect that, um, that here it is, but you could use any, you know, if you have a wilderness trail, single barrel. Yeah. And we'll kind of, we'll kind of describe this one. So, you know, oh, I have a bourbon that's of those, you know, flavor notes. Because I know not everyone, well, no one right now Has can that. drink along with us with this one, but so, it'll just sort of be the, the profile. I just thought it was fun because it gave me a very chocolatey profile, and I thought that would be really fun. Yeah. Um, so if you have anything that screams chocolatey, but I think just a, even the Wilderness Trail six year, if you've got that on hand, that would work too. Mm, yeah. So from George saying, Happy Halloween. Thank you for that super chat. We got Brian coming in with, what are you going to drink with everyone's most hated treat, candy corn? Ew. Yeah, we should have taken that challenge. We didn't, we didn't get any, uh, yeah. and then Joey Tony Bag of Donuts saying, happy Halloween, it's bourbon Burr night. Bourbon night. So excited to pair Weller Foolproof with Reese's Pumpkin, Ooh. courtesy of Perry and the Mutant at This Is My Bourbon Podcast. Please check them out on YouTube. Yes. Get spooky. Very, uh, agree with you. Got to agree it. with you there. Uh, so this Tony. article says to pair candy corn with Old Bardstown. I don't know about that. I don't really love either of those things. So right. I'm not sure how that would go for me. But cheers to those super chats. We appreciate you. Since someone asked about the candy corn, I thought I should answer it. All right, let's get this on our palate. Chat says, shh, move along, Sarah. Mm-mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. It's dark. I still get like that chocolatey brownie, but I also get caramel yeah. today. Mm -hmm. mm. It definitely is. I'm thinking. So, what are you thinking? Because these are salted caramel and milk chocolate. They're sea salt caramel milk chocolate, which I think the caramel and the chocolate is going to go really well with the caramel chocolatey. And I think the oh, salt is going to be heat. fun. And try them both. Okay. Yeah. It's his world. I've mm. been trying to tell him for 10 minutes. Oh, and. Oh. And these are at the grocery store. A couple so. more. Mmm, that is good. Ooh, that's a bougie candy. <clears throat> From Andrew uh, Center, Danville. Mm. Uh, Center alum who can't wait for the Wilderness Trail picks. It's a favorite. But I'm uh, I'm leaning the Chad variant. Cheers and happy Halloween. Wow, he hasn't even heard about the Sarah variant. He's already leaning Chad. Well, I can't, Ouch. can't blame you. Can't blame you. Mine and, was uh, more of a savory, yeah. savory sweet. So yeah. I would go more of an appetizer pairing with mine. If you're a patron of ours, mm. we uh, will include a, a tasting video in the email that gets um, sent out. And then from Clifton over at Bourbon Bites, another excellent channel here on YouTube to check out. It says, I'm just here for the booze. <laughs> That's the first time <laughs> we met you, man. At the Here for the Booze meetup in booze. 2019. That's right, two whole years ago. Uh, oh, and mm. Joseph Brezo saying, uh, y'all hula, y'all need to watch Day of the Dead tonight. I'm the second zombie at the beginning of the film. Uh, that's what? right. You said this, I think, before, right? We do um, need to watch it. We'll I'm the soldier jump zombie that falls off the loading platform. That's so Joseph Prezo. Towards the end of the film, boo, y'all. Mm. I'm just going to say. Everyone check him out in uh, Day of the Dead. This is delicious. 
Like, yeah. It's, I can taste the caramel, but it's almost making me think toffee. Let me try yours first. So it's probably actually really similar to the Heath. That's kind of what I'm thinking. It's really good together. This is Trader Joe's? Uh, Trader Joe's or Whole Foods, but I think I've gotten it from Kroger before too. Mm. They're just Tony's chocolates. It's a sea salt milk chocolate caramel. And if you've got anything that's got chocolate caramel, it would probably work. Um, like it's uh, gonna go good with most bourbons, but yes. that, the salt is really good yes. with the bourbon. Like it's very, uh, Mm. Pleasing. <laughs> I don't understand. That makes this taste even like, more like Ellie. I am like rich and yummy. Um, mm. Someone was asking, I think it was Joseph, was asking the mash bill. This is 64% uh, corn, 24% rye, and 12% malted barley. Uh, it is 115 proof. Um, it's a little under five years. Barrel entry proof of 110. I mean, we got, we got a lot of information actually back here on on the card, it was the a low key moment or er, moment. <laughs> I'm having a moment. It's it was the low key theme. It just all together made my mouth water. Okay, this is more got more of a crunch to more it. More crunch, more toffee. It's gonna stick in the teeth more. Yeah, I'm not so excited about that part. Mmm. I feel like yours was a better match. This is good. It's good. If you have, it would get the job done. But they're not meant for each other. I don't think they like. It, they could work it out. They don't fight. But it's not. They're a not soulmates. Mash made in heaven. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Well, so that was kind of easy. I'm gonna save the rest of this. We said, do this sea salt milk chocolate caramel thing, or anything that's like is that. This the bag. Yeah, that's the bag. Tony's. Tony's Chocolonies. I like them a lot. From Parts Unknown, I'm thinking it was, uh, didn't because you went to Trader Joe's. Yes, but I also went to Whole Foods. Yeah, okay. One of those two. I know where I got it. Where? At Whole Foods. Okay. That's what I said. Okay, Whole Foods. Whole Foods. But I've seen them at Kroger, I think. Anyways, they're available. Uh, does Chad have eyeliner on? He does. Yeah. It was a last minute. It's a last minute decision. decision. Yeah. I was like, okay. We liked it. It we'll looks go, good. I'm going to go a little emo tonight yeah, for we're Halloween. We're so it's good. But we're I still familiar. have a uh, Drink More Bourbon hat on. Clifton so. said, Tony Chocoloni bag of done. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. Tony it's Chocoloni perfect. bag of donuts. It's with perfect. chocolate donut. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, stop. We're going to have enough sweet stuff. I like it. Ugh, I'm going to be in a coma after this. I never eat this much. Candy. Oof. All right. Mm. So I kind of know what I want to do next. What do you want to do next? I feel like, don't let me take over though. I feel like I'm being a jerk and driving. How, what's that maker's proof? The LE? Yeah. 109. And what's the four is this small batch select? 104. I guess we should go there next. Okay. Okay. I want to do the makers with a Kit Kat or these little mm, um, those hybrids hybrid things. I feel you. So we're gonna do four rows. This small batch select. Now <laughs> wait, when does Chad not have on eyeliner? He wishes he could have it on all the time. I bet every <laughs> every other live except this one that I know of. But you know that guy, that poor guy, uh, that actor. He's on the morning show now. He does. He's, he plays a weather guy. Mm, but he, he was used also to be on Lost. He played Richard. And he was also in. Um, the uh, Batman movies. Mm -hmm. um, everyone thinks he he's a... always wearing eyeliner, but that's just how he, he was born that way. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, he just has really lovely. Because I've actually Googled eyes. that. I've like just Chad would want him to know what kind of eyeliner it was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, that 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 stays on all day. Uh, so this, yes, I know it's like milk chocolatey from memory. Mm. I'm torn between. I think Reese's would work well, but I'm sort of thinking. I think we should save Whopper. the Reese's. I think we should save the Reese's for the old, old Granddad 114. Well, I mean, I've got one on my cocktail right there. We could take. This I think is gonna go better with a Twix. We could do Whoppers or a Butterfinger, which does mm. have a little bit of a peanut butteriness mm -hmm. to it. So maybe we save that for the OGD, OGD. also. Mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm, so let's try mm -hmm. Twix and a Whopper. Okay, Twix and a Whopper. 
Uh, here, we, I'll get us oh, caught up on some super chats. Got Glenn and Kathy Golf Whiskey saying, uh, Kathy's enjoying some JTS Brown Milk Punch mm, paired with a Reese's punch. Peanut Butter Cup. Ooh, I, we do love That them. sounds good. A good Milk Punch. And we got Brad Smith saying, Chad, all you need is a trench coat and you can be silent. Bob! <gasps> but then how would I get through the live? Um, I don't know. I mean, know. he has occasionally his, like, outbursts, but... I could be Jay. You would have to, like, do it 90%, and then just, like, in the middle, I would just have this tirade of a uh, soliloquy. Mm. Look at me pulling out the big words tonight. Who do I think I am? I'm not sure. It's the eyeliner. It changes the end. Uh, it does. It does change you. You can't go back. Oh, Francisco. Says, I do keto slash low carb, and I'm getting a sugar coma just from watching this. I only eat dark chocolate now. Yeah, I tend to not do so much candy. This was... Yeah, this isn't uh, Episodes like these normal. are the ones where, at the end of the night, I'm like, <laughs> but what? <laughs> cowbell, please. A cowbell. I almost... <laughs> ding. Cheers you with my I don't think... Oh, but wait, this is also for Kilco Whiskey Musing, Musings, another fine channel here on YouTube. Looking forward to the chaos that is Kentucky. He's coming, He's coming to our neck week. of the woods. Thank you all. All right, this is Four Roses Small Batch Select. It's 104 proof. It's got a little more kick than the regular small batch, which is 90. Yeah, I think that's right. Let's put um, this on our palate. I always said, like, with the regular small mm. batch that I used to love to eat like a handful of chocolate chips when I had a small batch. So the small batch yeah. select, I think, is even a little bit more chocolatey. Absolutely. This was, uh, speaking of this is my bourbon podcast, this is Perry's uh, bourbon of the year when it came out. Whoa. I think it might have been 2019. It still has some floral notes and stuff, too, mm -hmm. though, which yeah. is why I well, think it's... it's, still, it's yeah, it's got We go roses. with, like, wafer or um, mm. the whopper middle, like the malt, yeah. because I think it's going to go nicely with, the like, the little bit of floral note that's in there. I don't know why. I'm just thinking it's going to be the whopper, but I could be completely wrong. I don't know. That, that's, that's my feeling. Shall we find out? Yes, let's do it. Okay. You go ahead. Mm, this has caramel too. Now that this could have also been oh. a good choice with the uh, the wilderness trail. Oh yeah. But I think we made the right call. Okay. Sean with a triangle worthy super chat saying, "Where's the Skittles?" Oh yeah, we didn't do any candy candy. I don't. Yeah. I don't know why, but I don't consider and I Skittles didn't to be a Halloween. But they're candy. Candy. But Chad just bought the candy he bought. Yeah, I just went looking for the most variety grab bag that I could on Halloween day. So there wasn't a lot left. Four hours ago. I bought mine on last week, so I, I should have bought some Skittles. You're right. Skittles. We don't even have M&Ms here. Francisco. That is nice because I like the wafer play with the floral notes. It's really <laughs> yummy. <laughs> Small batch select is six roses instead of four right, roses. Right, yeah. That's true. Six of the ten mm. recipes. You are correct, Sugar Kitty. What do you think? It ain't bad. Oh, I liked it. He's convinced that it's going to be the Whoppers, though, so he can't um, let the Twix win at this point. I'm so team Whoppers right He's now. He's very... Uh, who knows I'm why? all in. And does he have stock in Whoppers? I'm not sure. Wait, how are children supposed to open these? <laughs> I love that someone had a mod had to approve that comment there from Nick. Taste, About taste the motherfucking fucking rainbow. Rainbow. <laughs> taste it. Taste it. All right, here you go. Oh, you got great. Oh my god, full mouth now. There's something about a Whopper that's like, it's like it's too sweet at first, but then it's oddly addictive. Yeah, I could pop a bunch of these. From Jeff saying, happy, happy Halloween. Thank you for the super chat, mm, Jeff. We appreciate you. that. Give Ooh. you uh, four roses. Cheers. Oops. I'm not good at those. Muted. Um, <laughs> We appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, I'm torn. Because I like the, like, malted... It's like mal It's a milk ball, right? With the four roses. But I really think... Mm. I think the Twix worked better. This is an interesting comment. Whoppers are good with whiskey because they actually have malted grains in them. Mmm. I think they're both. They're both good. Very close to each other. Um, all right. Uh, speed round. I'm gonna let you make the final call because I like I like them both. Nom, 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 nom. I could do 
I can make either one work. It's that wafery or like the crunchy, the wafer and the Twix, but then like the milk ball part in the, uh, you know, uh -huh. Whopper. I feel like the Whopper makes it a little bit easier. I feel like there's a little twinge mm. with the Twix um, that makes it taste. The only thing I can say that would make sense is like more pedestrian. Mm -hmm. And the Whopper it quells that part of it. Mm -hmm. They're very, very, very close. If I had a vote, I would say the Whopper, but they're both really it's good. It's close. They're both good. I don't know that I could yeah. vote. Yeah, it's tough. It's a toughie. So, can you drive for one moment? I just got a call from my parents, and they never call during live, and so I just want to text and make sure everything's okay. Sure, absolutely. Okay. Yes, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> Not at all. I'm oh. just gonna. I'm just gonna be distracted until I do it. I gotta make sure. No, no, no. All good. All good. Uh, Brett is saying Three Musketeers with Eagle Rare was a hit from last Halloween candy pairing. Interesting. We don't mm. have any Three Musketeers. I wanted to do Eagle Rare though, because I was like that yummy, chocolatey, grapey note would go good with something, uh -huh, but I couldn't uh -huh, think of uh -huh, what. Uh huh. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Now we wait. Okay. <laughs> don't scare me like that on Halloween. No. What a way to scare an adult child. I bet at you're Halloween. just saying. Boo. Just call when you don't normally call. Boo. <laughs> Robot Scott and regular name Katie. Um, <clears throat> well. We got half the trick or treat uh, trick or treaters that we expected, so now I have to eat a ton of candy myself. Life is rough. Oh no, Cheers. it's terrible. Yeah, uh, I feel you. Well, look, we bought this whole thing and we didn't even use it for trick or treaters. We actually went over to a friend's house and hang out, hung out with them as they welcome trick or treaters. And might I just say, Sarah, did I not use my uh, pop culture knowledge to some to some Good use tonight. Oh, he did. He recognized there were several kids that had like more obscure costumes that only Chad knew exactly what they were when we like when they were walking by while we were handing out candy and he like validated them in such a way their faces lit up. They were like, oh, somebody knows what I am. And the parents were like, very... the parents were like, hey, didn't that didn't that make your day? He you right. noticed the blah blah blah. It and, was cute. Uh, it it was made really me feel cute. good. And my heart grew three sizes on yes. Halloween. May I step away for one moment? Sure. I have to make a quick phone call. Everything's oh, yeah. fine. Okay. Everyone's fine. It's Scott's, fine. Scott says hi, so tell Pam. Hi, I'll tell Pam hi. That, okay. Uh, I just got to check on her. Sure. You know, we just got to make sure she's okay. Uh-huh. Uh, -huh. uh <laughs> did I miss using licorice as a whiskey straw? Wow. Well, that's a hot take. Um, Sarah is very, like, anti-licorice. I'm fine with it. I guess I don't prefer it, but... You know, it's it's fine. Um, so see, see what what else is uh, Four Roses Barrel Select even good? Uh, wait, is this called Barrel Select? No, this is Small Batch Select. Barrel Select. You're talking about like the LE? I'm not I'm not sure about that. But regardless, I would say yes. Uh, phone calls are always terrifying here on Halloween. Like, right? Do you have any Evan Williams Single Barrel? Yes, we do. We'd be going down in proof, because that's like 86.6? It's hard to remember proofs, isn't it? But yeah, we do have that. Um, and I feel like that's a pretty... Uh, before you sit down, Sarah, would you grab... If we have a Evan Williams single barrel open. Uh, we do. Okay, good. Let's do that, then. That was requested. Okay, we can do that. Crisis averted. Everyone's fine. Good. We're also hearing the Milky Way with Eagle Rare. Oh, that's what we said before. Was it Milky Way? I thought so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was thinking Three Musketeers. Wait, maybe that was it. I don't know. Mer. I don't know enough about candy. <laughs> I'm finally, candy. I'm just glad. I can focus now. Everyone's safe. Everything's good. I don't have to go to the emergency room on Halloween. That's good. all I want. I'm like, I'm not prepared for this. <laughs> don't, literally, way to scare me. Right. <laughs> Scarier than any movie. Stop. <laughs> My What's heart it? just jumped up. That's an interesting question from Clifton. Chad, what's your hot take on um, on overtaking mini bottles to trick or, trick or greeter parents? Any suggestions for bottles? So you're saying when, when parents come by with their kids, you give out mini bottles to the parents. Hmm. I mean, I think that's cute. Because, like, they can take, like, 
That's what kids do with their candy. They take mm -hmm. them home and eat it later. Right. So, I mean. I would be for that. I think it's cute. Like, if they want to take one, great. If they don't want to take one, no problem. I think it's cute. Offering, not over tracking. I think he had some, some time. <laughs> Some autocorrects or some typos there? No, it's all good. We he got, wants to track the parents? Your, I don't understand. Mess. Clifton, you do. You, what you doing you over do there? You do you. Hey, James Wolverton. Uh, uh, so what was the coolest kid's costume then? Chad, happy Halloween. Uh, there was an obscure one. It was from Gravity Falls. Mm. So it was Dipper and Mabel Pines. And then one of the, uh, I guess the dad dressed up as Grunkle Stan. And I that said, that kid was so thrilled. That I somebody said, recognized. like his jaw dropped. He was I like, said, Oh, hey, Dipper and Mabel. And he was like, He, his jaw dropped. He was like, oh. And then I was like, Oh, hey, Grunkle Stan. And, <laughs> and I think he thought, My dad's cool because he dressed up. Yeah, so it, it was, was cute. I was like, An adult knows about um, Gravity Falls. My favorite costume was uh, like this two year old kid in a little. He had like a fire truck that overalls, wear. like yeah. that you wear, with light up shoes, and it was the funniest thing I've ever seen. And then the other one was Boba Fett, who uh, his 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 dad said, "I said, you know, hey Boba Fett, you know, have some candy," and he was like, "See, there's someone who knows you're not the Mandalorian." Yeah. And I said, "No, you're wearing the armor of a Mandalorian, but you're Boba Fett. You know, you're a bounty hunter. And his you're dad not goes, an actual Mandalorian." His dad goes, "That's a nerd." <laughs> he did. He, he said, that's our people, though. So but he did nice. say, he said, that's our people yeah. to chat. That was, like, that was very nice. Oh, it was really cute. Yeah. Uh, Brian saying, good to hear everyone's, uh, everybody's okay. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Yes. Uh, I'm going to give them a stern talking <laughs> to about, can you just text me and say, everything's okay, but call me when you can. These parents. That's all I need. They just need to be taught. They don't understand what they're doing to my heart. <laughs> Sing the third saying happy Halloween. Uh, it's bourbon night. Enjoying some Russell's tin and winding down the weekend. Budget bourbon bro. You want to say hi? Come here. I agree. Come here. Come say hi. Oh, no. To all y'all for those super chats, we appreciate. Come here. Come on. Up, 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 up. Say hello. Can you give me a Halloween? <laughs> give me candy. Halloween. Can candy. 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 Oh, thank you. Yeah. No candy for Zoe. Halloween Zoe. We can't, I don't want to go to the pet emergency room today either. Yeah. I just don't want to stay out of the doctor's office. That'd be great. True. So what are we doing here? We're going to go with, we're going to go down a little bit. Good. Thank you. Yes. But we're going to do some Evan Williams single barrel. Okay. So the jury was out on the Four Roses small batch select with the Twix or the Whoppers. 86.6 But you said I Whoppers, right. so we'll call it Whoppers. I, yeah. Toss up. Uh, brrr, Ryan Brennicky with a triangle. You just sound lady. like the owl from the Tootsie Pop Three. every time, and I'm like, mm. Brian says, "What I've learned tonight: Whoppers rule in pairings. Clifton they do. gives uh, gives away minis to parents <laughs> with tracking, tracking devices, devices in them. them. Happy Halloween, all. Thanks, yep. Brian. I'll just go ahead." <laughs> It was a little one. No, it was good. Thank you, Brian. And Tammy. And, and Clifton for tracking those parents. Yeah, keep keep an eye on them, Clifton. Man, this this has a really good nose for an under 90 proofer. Mm-hmm. Evan Williams Single Barrel is maybe a little bit of an unsung hero. James Wolverton called uh, Old Forster and Banana Laffy Taffy. If I liked Banana Laffy Taffy, I'd be totally on board with that because I think that is probably Old a Forster really good. Old Forster basically is but do you Banana think, Laffy Taffy. So or you, Banana Runts is what we call it. Do you think it's too much of like, Peggy would call that like too much, is it too much same same? Uh, is it too... Well, if it's complimentary, it's complimentary. Right, but... No, I hear it. it. Is there enough contrast or would it just be too much of the same? It would need to be tested. Because I feel like... Old mm. Forester with the banana and brown sugar would go with something more that's like brown sugary and light. But mm -hmm. like light like that, but not like a maple candy or something like that. I, I don't you. know. You know what I'm thinking on this one, Sarah? But banana could be the key. I don't know. What do you think? It'd definitely be the place to start. I think we might have the Butterfinger right here. You know, I was wondering if that you were going to say that because... There is just that ever so subtle hint of nuttiness 
and some Heaven Hill products that I think... Yeah, it needs that crispity, crunchity... Crispity, crunchity. Better not lay a finger on my Butterfinger. Don't do it. It's going to crumble everywhere, though, is the thing. <laughs> oh, they are the worst to get out of your teeth. Mm, but I was... I loved Butterfingers as a kid. <sighs> this was my favorite candy. Don't have a cow, man. Nobody better lay a finger on my Butterfinger. Remember when the Simpsons did their commercials? I do. I do. I can't think of a uh, Butterfinger without thinking about the Simpsons. Zoe, can you quiet down? We're filming. <laughs> We've had enough distractions. Can you lay down? Lay it on down. Jim saying, Happy Halloween. Love the It's Bourbon Night Glen Cairns glasses mm -hmm. I purchased. Thank you for your purchase. Glad you love them. Ooh. Stop the presses. Is this the best thing I've had tonight? Whoa. That's that good. Elevates the hell. This is out of some Evan Williams single barrel. And it makes a Butterfinger taste like. I mean, Butterfingers are good, but. Mm. Wow. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Whoa. Nobody better lay a finger on this pairing. That's good. Not maybe what I would have picked in the beginning. A very good pairing. Thank you for that suggestion, whoever, whoever requested this. Yeah. Do they say with the Butterfinger, or did they just say no, do it with something? They just said, do you have Evan Williams Single Barrel? You win the, the evening. Mmm. Clifton thinks it's funny, because it's happening home, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but Butterfinger, though. Oh, that's it. Wins the night. Wins it's the gonna night. It's be really hard to beat this. Ah. Uh, thank you, Scott Pigsley, for being a good, actually, a great mod. You can get IBN merch at whiskeyambitions.com. We got a, a couple new shirts. We got new are, shirts. You know, we were teasing them last live. They are now live. We have uh, Nutty Squad, and we also have Proof Hound, Proof Hound oh, oh. on there. So go check those and out. And we have more Angel Share shirts back in stock and Angel Share women's tanks. Women's Which I like to layer under a flannel, a jacket, a hoodie. Sometimes I just like to put it on and be like, mm. look at these cannons. <sighs> Gun show. Mm. I do it just by myself. It does get stuck on your teeth, though. No, no. Mm. I don't love that part. But everything else about that was like fireworks. Mm. Like these these two are soulmates. They belong together. Yes, they do. Highly recommend it. That's interesting. Paul, sorry I'm late. It's okay. You're forgiven. Do you have a pass, though? Chad didn't even notice. Uh... <laughs> Have you paired any chocolates with Whitford Reserve, Double Oak, or Old Forester mm. 1910? Two wonderfully chocolatey drinks. What time are that, we? We're at 8.30. Well, that might be the way I can actually love 1910. Because I am not maybe. a 1910 fan. But you know what? We've I didn't pull it. Is it over there? One moment. Oh, the uh, Double Oak? But not Whitford. <laughs> no, but it is the a Double Peerless. Oak product. Yeah. That is nearby. That one back, I will. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> not Woodford, but it is double oaked. Peerless, 107.1. This was in our uh, Trick or Treat with Whiskey episode. If you haven't seen that, that was on Friday's <laughs> episode. That we, was fun. We full on did costumes. Did wigs and everything. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that was a fun one. That was a big episode. That was a big episode. But, it was uh, so fun. We really appreciate everyone's comments on that. Very um, encouraging and mm. you know, <laughs> very, we appreciate it. Tom... W points out that he wants a new blue logo shirt, but they're sold out. Actually. They're not. That's my fault. Oops. I just now realized in my rush to get things done on Friday, I didn't put the quantities in. Oh, no. Because I didn't have the pictures. Oh. So they're not sold out, and I will fix that in the next 24 hours. Thank you for being the one to call that out, because I... So we threw a big Halloween party on Friday and I made the shirts live on Friday and I was a little bit uh, frazzled in my preparations for my party. Oh, I wish I could show them the charcuterie board picture. Yep, her party. Is that what I said? My party? Yeah. Loud and clear, Sarah. Chad made paninis. Loud and clear. I mean, I, I did the planning. I made them paninis though, didn't You did I? make the paninis. They were Damn, really good. They were good. They were it's the best panini recipe out there. Hands down, I said it. Do you guys want to know how to make a kick-ass panini? 
Butter. Ask Chaz. Get some sourdough oh, he's bread. Gonna tell, oh, he's going to tell you right now. I thought it was going to be like something that you would write. Nah. Get some sourdough bread. Butter the sides that are going to go on your panini press. I don't know if you guys want to hear that. Then get some apple butter. Mm -hmm. Spread that across there. Get some honey. Drizzle the honey. Spread that across there. Get some Havarti cheese and some Swiss cheese. Nope. Put, white cheddar. White cheddar. <laughs> put both of those down. One on each side. You don't have to over... You know, just one just, of each. Then uh, cook some bacon. Put the bacon on there. Get an apple. Thinly slice some apple slices. Usually about three or four laid across there. Then put the uh, other, you know, slice on, butter side up. Put that on your panini press. Or make it like a grilled cheese in a pan if you don't have a panini uh -huh. press. Uh-huh. Panini press is worth it, though. It's clutch. Uh, cook it until it looks like it's nice and golden brown. Cut it is it half. literally the best panini Change I've your ever life, had. panini. It, Change your life, panini. It's really good. Devin always butters his bread. Mm. You should. Just, <gasps> it's a highly recommend. It's very fall. It's comforting. Mm-hmm. It's very good. Um... Ian says, have you ever done a pumpkin pie with bourbon? Mm. What bourbon would you use? Happy Halloween. I love, oh. love pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie too. And this I was thinking, bourbon. so I was thinking about actually doing a blog with a bourbon pumpkin pie. Um, I, now that I think about it, I might go with a rye. It has a little bit of a clovey note because there's all spice in pumpkin pie, and I think that that would really go in there well. Mm -hmm. um, outside of that, I mean, a weeder is always a safe choice, right, for a dessert because it's not going to overpower anything. Yeah. But I like the idea of a rye that's got some spice to add into that pumpkin pie spice. So that's probably what I would do. I don't have a specific one in mind right now. I'd have to do some tasting. I hope that helps. There you go. I yep. mean, it's, obviously, you'd want to go with something probably like 30 bucks or less yeah. if you're going to cook with it. True. And then David. And then David, who says, just tried Russell's Reserve single barrel and Whoppers. Match made in heaven, in my honest opinion. Happy Halloween, Chad and Sarah. Thank you. Interesting. Well, we could, we could try that if we have time. If we have yeah. time. We still have some other things. We do. We do. We do. And I'm starting to feel not <laughs> great. great. I'm starting to feel great. I feel like this might be the Reese's. Okay. Do you agree with that? Sure. Can we just use that one? Mm -hmm. I'm about to be candied out, y'all. I don't know how much more. This is like when we had to do the Jack Daniels, or the Jim Beam Jim Flavors Beam. Uh -huh. episode, and I was like, please make it stop. I'm more used to it. Oh, I love a good race seeds. <laughs> that was evil. Race seeds, pea seeds. Oh, you don't think so? I like it. I think you just really like this whiskey and you just really like Reese's. Well, this is true. <laughs> Am I blinded by science? Um, I think this needs something with a more bold, oaky presence. To like a... I think this is too sweet. Mm. for the it's so they're sweet sweet i like I think it. you need something i mean truthfully i would probably put this with a bookers or like bookers, a yeah. or like an Old older knob creek something that's got some oak to it fair okay. not that this isn't well, oaky but that's just what i think don't eat the rest we'll just save it here okay what would you want to pivot towards mm, i kind of want to do we're doing kit kat the makers and a kit kat slash this no, i'm talking thing. with this though oh no. or is it a lost cause i want to do this with the makers I don't know. Maybe it's another Whopper. Let's try the Heath. Okay. Heath. I'm interested in the toffee with like the double oak toasty thing. Right on. Oh, see now in my opinion, that is much more in harmony. Disagree. It's like tingly. Hmm, interesting. Not everything can be with the Reese's. <laughs> I you mean, just, it, it, ain't, it ain't bad. It ain't bad. I think it was good. Hold on. I can't, I don't know how much more candy I can eat. <laughs> <sighs> mm. it, it, it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay. Well, maybe I shouldn't have pulled it. Let me just pop a Whopper real quick. Okay, I'm just, just gonna pop, just pop a Whopper. Pop one. I can stop whenever I want. You're not my real dad. 
I learned from watching you, all okay, right? Okay, so this is why you don't get that much candy, though. It's because you act out. <laughs> One year a year. One year a year? <laughs> Tell us more. Sticking with it. My problem, too, is I'm not going to be able to go to sleep after this because it's so much sugar. I'm going to no, be that's not it. up. That's not it. I think the Heath Bar is the closest. But I agree that nothing has been a perfect match for this so far. Right. So instead of... Well, we were coming off that awesome marriage we were, of we Evan were. Williams Single Barrel. My standards have been raised since I had that. <sighs> for real. Um. Okay, let's switch. Wow. Weller 107 and Sour Patch Kids. Never would I ever have thought of that. I'm scared. It's not okay. Halloween without peanut butter M&Ms. I love pretzel M&Ms the best. Francisco with the Super Chat, Sarah. Francisco. A Reese's Cup with a Jim Beam product for, for the peanut pe overload. That's kind of what mm. I was thinking, but I was thinking yeah. something with some proof heft to it or like older stuff with an oakier note uh -huh. that can balance out so it's not just like peanut, peanut. Right. Um, but thank you for that Super We'll chip. come back to Super it. Chit. <laughs> Super Chat. Super Chat, Francisco. You drink, you got a lot going on over there. Dead Rise Again. Best cocktail for Halloween. Splendidly proven. As voted by Chad. As voted by Chad. Four out of five Chads agree. It's the best cocktail for <laughs> Halloween. I just picture Halloween. four of you being like, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And, and the other one like, being, mm -mm. I don't like being number five. <laughs> I want to be different than everyone I want to be number one. Hmm. Y'all see that hand? What's it doing? Just hanging out. Can he get in the makers? Okay. This is a baller of a pairing here, Sarah. Yeah, well, you could also use any Maker's Private Select or you could use Maker's Cast Strength, I think. You could even do 46 or 101. Have we gone through 04? Yeah, yes. We have. But I'm just going to use this because it's topical because it was released recently. This is the FAE 02. But I still think that any Maker's over like, yeah i think cast strength or, or even but i could even 101. go 101 would be mm -hmm. fine too yeah you know i was actually having 101 and cast strength i just poured both of them for uh actually to have in the glass for the b-roll of the halloween episode mm -hmm. and afterwards i was you know sipping on them and i'm like it's really hard to tell which one's the 101 and which one's the cast strength because you know the cast strength on this bottle was like 108 and some change mm -hmm. and then 101 you know but they were both really freaking good so this is called Little Secrets Mini Crispy Wafers. Little Secrets. They are just little individually wrapped wafers. And like I said, it kind of reminds me of a cross between a Kit Kat and a Nutter Butter. But it doesn't have like the Nutter Butter peanut butter taste. Fair enough. It's just like a wafer. Uh, may I point out, there is 330 of us in here. We got... Uh, There's a lot of people watching us eat candy. 110 thumbs ups if you are signed in and have... The moment and wouldn't care to give us one of these, we would greatly appreciate. Ow. F A E. At what point proof. will I puke? Who wants to take bets? Mm. The over under. One oh nine point one. That was good. I th is it the best? I don't know. Here's it's a, not the best. Here's the a serious question that's listed as a serious question. Okay. Oh, you want me to read it? Yes, I'm drinking. Okay. Uh, was the FAE 01 worth it? I was told I might be able to get one, but I wanted to double check with a few people first. I mean, I thought it was really good, but I would pick the 02 over the 01. We're an 02 family, but the 01 is definitely good. It's a little, but if you would have, you say brighter? I would say that, but all no. I'm going to say is like, okay, you have a, say you mm. have a limited mm. bottle selection to choose from. It's pretty good. Focus. I'm with you. Okay. You can't have everything, so you have to choose. Do you spend $80 or 70 bucks, whatever it costs, on the FAE 01, or do you save that for, say, when the next Elijah Craig Barrel Proof comes out, or whatever? So, it, not just like, is it good, but like, should you get it, or should you pass on it and hold on to that for Don't the next? Don't ask me these Sophie Choice questions, Sarah. <laughs> That's tough. I don't know. I think Chad's thinking from his point of view of like, would I want another FAE 01 around? Sure. But like, would you, if you only had $80, yeah. would you spend it on that? Probably Elijah Craig. You would wait. Proof. Okay. That's all that I was trying to get at is that. 
it probably wouldn't be what he would do with his money. So this is what they say. The first FAE-01 is a fruit forward with more focus on barrel extract extractives. Thank you. The second release, 02, is a texture focused to really highlight the maker's mark mouthfeel. It's round, creamy, and mouth coating. Enjoy. I like this pairing though. I do too. I think it's pretty I wanna good. I want to see if it's better with a Kit Kat. It's not the best of the night, but it is good. It was good. Yeah, Kit Kat it up. Mm, Kit Kats are sweeter. That is what I like about these little things, is that they're not as sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh. They're both really good. They're both really good. I think I'm gonna lean this little wafer uh, hybrid thing. I have a little bite of that little hybrid thing. <laughs> yeah, again. The it, dog hears us eating, so she keeps coming in here like, well, what are you guys doing? Again, this is like a Kit Kat and Nutter Butter hybrid. Definitely Wait, less milk chocolate. Is it a one. Nutter Butter? Yeah. What are the ones? What are the sandwiches? You know the cookie sandwiches that have it's peanut butter, and it's shaped like a peanut. Is that oh, a butter butter? Those are. N yeah, maybe they are. I'm thinking of the ch long chocolate. The long, ones. yeah, the chalk. What are those called? Nutter butters. Mandela effect. <laughs> no, nutter butter's a cookie. We've been saying it wrong the whole night. Then what's the long? What's the like chocolate covered wafer? bar that is comes in packs of two and go, someone call Eric the Whiskey Mutant because right. he's gonna know we have question about snacks he's, he's, he's nutty bars says nutty Jenny. bars thank you nutty bars Jenny Hopkins, what, for the rescue so oh it's, my it's gosh. a hybrid of a, or a nutty, nutty bar. buddy nutty buddy that's what it is nutty buddy and a Kit Kat there but it you doesn't go. have the peanut butter taste of a nutty buddy it's just the texture yes with the flavor of a Kit Kat ah uh, Jason with the Super Chat saying, second the recommendations for Russell's Reserve Single Barrel and some, and some Hershey's Chocolate. We don't just have Hershey's, but we do have a Russell Single Barrel right over there. And the YouTube overlords demand your thumbs. That's true. Give them your thumbs. Uh, oh, what was what was his new his, his new name? I already forgot. Uh, it's that. <laughs> Tony Chocoloni. <laughs> Tony Chocoloni Bag of Donuts. Uh, my room. <laughs> My roommate surprised me last night with two bottles of FAE02. I searched Ooh. for weeks in four states, and he found it <laughs> at a grocery store. That's how hey, it happens sometimes, it happens. Tony. It is. Uh, and then we got Pudding, Pudding War, saying Maker's 46 and Kit Kat. Not, not so, so much, much doing, doing it for me. me. Okay. Yeah. We'll avoid that one. I... Zoe, quit sniffing around. She's looking for candy. Jeez. She's a truffle dog. She is a truffle dog, though. Um, thank you guys for those super chats. Thank you. Ooh, almost broke my glass on that Hello. one. I vote these little secrets. I, I do too. I Mini do too. crispy I, wafers. The, you could mm, also try it with a Nutty Buddy. Nutty Buddy. The less milk chocolate that the Kit Kats possess, I think, helps. With I think the it over, like that extra milk chocolatey sweetness kills yeah. the makers. Like it's yeah. too overpowering. You I need agree. something softer and more neutral like this. Okay. Now, so that was only fun. if we had sweet rolls. Okay. This is interesting. Todd Carter says, uh, I always watch videos at 1.5 speed, and it's so weird watching them talk so slow. <laughs> That's funny. And at least it makes things more entertaining. Yeah. What if I talk even slower? What if no. I talk <laughs> like this? Francisco. And That's only one person that we're doing that for. Everyone else watching at hey. regular speed. Uh, Nutty Buddy and an Old Granddad 114 is amazing. Okay. Oh, Granddad 114 is the one we haven't gotten to yet. And apparently we also need to do the wrestles, but I don't know. Are we going to have time? We'll see. I don't have but any... But I did want to do this OGD Free glasses left. Yeah, I, we're in washing territory now. But I haven't been... Oh, okay. we'll just pour and make a dump cup. No. Oh, Sarah. Don't be a hero. Don't be a hero. I'll be a hero. Nick Foles is calling for overtime. 
Well, now that I know my parents aren't dead. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Derek Ellis. Yes, sweet rolls. By the way, Chad, my mom also called them sweet rolls. That's because the world knows what a sweet roll is. Do I need more lipstick? Oh, Do I need more eyeliner? That was my eyeliner. That's good. It's supposed to be uh, no, no fade, or what do they call it? No. Waterproof. Yeah, waterproof. I don't know. Twenty-four hour. Twenty-four hour. Extended release. No, I'm just kidding. Extended <laughs> release. <laughs> okay. OGD one fourteen, a staple of many a bartender and a home bar. Mm, I do like it. So good. A nice beam product. I just want a little. Okay, perfect. Because I feel like. We gotta get back to this Reese's business. And if it's not- This might be it, Sarah. Okay, but if it's not- Tootsie Roll. I think we should go here. Specifically the 100, 100 proof 12 year? The 12 year. Okay. I think the, the years of the age. are gonna be important for offsetting this Reese's cup. Okay. And a Booker's is gonna be more proof heavy, but it's only gonna be like six, seven years old. So I don't know if that's gonna be the right answer. What do they call it? Cover girl? Maybe I'm born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's my lipstick smudged on his eyes. It's true. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> it's definitely. <laughs> do I look? That's how you know you love someone. Do I look? Yes, baby, I'll smudge lipstick Emo? on your eyes. Do I look pensive? 30 seconds before the camera starts. 30 seconds to Mars. How do they get there so fast? They're a little emo, I guess, right? How do they get there so fast? <laughs> future technology. 30 seconds is not a long time. Not, that's not enough time to get to Mars if not you ask me. Time. I do love Reese's. Okay, this is definitely closer. Much closer. Ooh, I could do this. This works. But is it it? Is it it? Well, it's not not it. Mmm. My Chemical Romance. There you it's go. It's not not it. Actually, you, you guys, know, you guys remember, um, what was Lifestyles of the Rich and Good the Charlotte. Thing. You remember Good Charlotte? I actually went as one of the guys from Good Charlotte one year. So I had, like, it down like this. Sort of like the crow. Um, and then, like, the stripes. Hey, hmm? can you pour this for me? Like a, um, uh, Tim Burton movie. Um, <laughs> it was, it was a good costume. That's it? Well, you're all like, no more, no. Well, do you want to try it? That's good, that's good. Oh my gosh! <laughs> she cannot be pleased. I can't, it's just true. <laughs> Every day is Halloween. Okay. It's melted to my fingers now. <laughs> I mean, I like that. I liked it, but I don't know if that's it. That's good. Hmm. The, the the Civic Tour. Oh no! I went. Oh. On the, I was at the Civic Tour. I saw a good. Well, he said God Charlotte, but uh, I think I should. Do you have any more Reese's cup? No, ma'am. Do you want to eat this I one? I got. Mm, I got miniatures right here. To my fingers. I no? saw. No. Okay. Was Blink One Eighty Two the headliner? I saw Blink One Eighty Two when they got back together after Travis Barker had the plane crash, and I think. No, nah, I wasn't good Charlotte. It was like Fallout Boy, which I didn't really care too much about, but. Um, I saw him on the Honda Civic Tour. Oh, sounds real badass, the Honda Civic Tour. <laughs> I know. It's a, it's a, a smart mid-size sedan. F Society, you're an individual tour. punk, blah, blah, blah. But it's the Honda Civic Tour. <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you by Honda Civic. <laughs> <laughs> Brian St. Emo Chad, yes, next year. Wait, are you not? I'm are pretty you, emo. I could be more emo. You... Both of them? No, there was only, it's a single. Oh, okay. It's a single serving, Sarah. I should drink this first, mm. yes. Well, you can do whatever you want. Oh, thank you, Brian. Don't talk with your mouth full. I, I hate when he does that. I'm like, one day whiskey's just gonna go. Never. Never. It's gonna happen. It's not. <laughs> the Toyota Prius tour. Devin says it's a great car. My first car was a Honda Civic. Actually, my first two cars were Honda Civics. Um, I got respect. I for still Honda just don't think like <laughs> these like semi-punk like wannabe punk 
Not whatever. wannabe, they're pop pop. Okay, whatever. Popular punk. Pop punk, I don't fit into society. Like, I think it's funny that brought to you by Honda Civic. Pop punk isn't about I don't fit into society. It's more just the style I of music. I misunderstood. No. It's more the style of music. I have a And the time signature. Excuse me, I've struck a nerve. Mm hmm. <laughs> hmm. Right, so they do fit into society, so that's what they're singing about, is how well-liked they are by everyone and how much they fit in. You ever seen The Shining? And everyone loves them. Where Jack... Stop. We're not talking about that tonight. Just kills. No, you're not allowed to talk about that today. Here's Johnny. Are you saying you're going to kill me? No. No, dear. But here's Johnny. Do you like it? I do. He doesn't love it. Mom and Dad stop fighting, says Sean Dobbins. It's Halloween. We've had too much candy. I'm so energized right now. And JG has just been saying I've been right this whole whole episode, which I do appreciate. Well, that escalated, <laughs> said Ray. <laughs> <laughs> just so you guys know, uh, we would never. <laughs> it's just a joke. Yes, putting more. Wait, I can't decide if that's pro or That millennial con. just doesn't understand punk rock, a.k.a. Blink-182. What? You. I I know Blink-182. <laughs> I know. Thank you, I'm Devin. just saying I think it's funny. It is ironic. It's ironic. It's ironic. But pop punk is different than like, okay. you know, the Sex Pistols or New York Dolls. Or right. It would have been funny if Ramones, like, it's like, like Iggy Pop. Brought to you by Honda Civic. <laughs> brought to you by Apple. Can you imagine? Or, no, worse. Microsoft. Brought to you by Microsoft Windows. Oh, no. Vista. It just, it's <laughs> funny. Now, that's scary. That's Halloween material right Would there. you call that a sellout? What's We've the, gone down the wrong path. The Honda Actually, Civic Tour? I retract okay, that question. Okay, she retracts. Because I don't want to decide I don't wanna light two. that fire today. I'll tell you what was a sellout, Sarah. It was Woodstock 99. Because okay. it was supposed to be like all the... Peace, love, and you know, I heard it wasn't, movement I heard of it wasn't Woodstock, great. but then it was like brought to you by Pepsi. I heard it wasn't great. Yeah. I mean, there was yeah, there was a lot of shit that happened at the end of the night. Not good stuff. Well, well, uh, I don't know. I wasn't there. I was only nine. Ten. Oh my god. <laughs> I was ten. Me too. Sure. Um, I don't know. Both you of know, them both are good. no home run. They're both good, but they're not. I think it's too much. I'm struggling with the Knob Creek because it's too much peanut on peanut. I feel like Booker's would be. You think the it would win. be? Yeah. We already ate it. Sarah, we have mini servings right here. Well, we have three minutes left, but we could do some overtime. Here's what I'm not going to do I'm just going to reach for a random Booker's. Okay. I feel like you're going to fall. Can I help you? 2019 04, okay? Little baiting biscuits? Sure. Okay. Here. Oh, you want to go more modern? No. If anything, I was gonna go back in time farther, but let's let's stick with this. Let's Gotta stick go with this. back in time. Uh, should we just dump cup? Sure. Make this the dump. I don't know what it was, but now it's dead, or it's a or it's delicious. Delicious mixture. Delicious. Find out. I'm not gonna rinse because it's just a. Jim Beam product on a Jim Beam product. Fair. And at this point, whose taste buds can tell? Not mine. I just really needed some water. Certainly not mine. Devin with the Butterfinger and Abby Williams summary comment. Yes, that's the one of the evening. It was surprisingly delicious. Although I think that Evan Williams would have also been really great with a malted milk ball. Just, I think the malted barley is a what- malted milk ball. A Whopper? A Whopper, that's what I meant. <laughs> Malted Whatever you have. I don't yeah. know. Just because they're like, malted barley content is what makes it nutty. And so I wonder if that would be... Yeah. I don't know. Ah, oh, Nick did it all for the nookie. So. Well, at least we know his motivations. So you can take that cookie. Michael says a barrel seagrass and a clear pineapple gummy bear. <gasps> that would be good. You're right. Wow. I don't have that pineapple a, gummy bear. No. But that's a good call. It's very tropical. Oh, thanks. I don't want to talk. Huh. You don't have to. Just set it down there. Whatever you like. Rest here. Oh, 
That is better. That's the one. Yeah. Well, we pulled, I just thought the age. I thought the age would do it. I think it's the proof. 2019-04. This is uh, Beaten Biscuits, our favorite of 2019. Here's the thing. I really thought that it would be too much. Like the Reese's with the bean because it's, you know, nutty, nutty. Yeah. But it's not. It's like that's what it was supposed to be. Yeah. True. Agreed. Ugh. <laughs> Um, so we're going to do one more. One more pairing. We don't even have to finish that. One more? Well, well I'm going to... Well, it's just, just now nine. Hang on we to can, this. Yeah, save that for later. I'm course. not going to... I'm not going to toss it. No. <laughs> I might know. But let's clear the table here. Okay. Get the confusion out of the way. Yeah. What you doing back there? Wait, now what are we doing? We're in some whiskey. I don't know. Someone called for the Russell's Reserve single barrel, and I see one over there. And? I don't know. I forgot. Was it Whoppers? Was it Whoppers? Tell us. <laughs> Speak. <laughs> You're going to put that one back, please. Uh -huh. Um. Yeah, what was that? Uh, what was that Russell's? Ugh. It's a farley. OGD with a payday. Ooh, that does sound good. WLW. Jenny. With Godiva at 75%. Cacao. Bougie. Bougie. Yeah. I feel that. Uh, I think we should just get it. I think we should just get it and go. And we'll taste it and we'll see. Well, that's a, that's a pick. We got, I see the tenure. I don't know if we have just a regular old. Single but a barrel. single barrel is a single barrel is a single barrel. Right? Well, there's a single barrel pick, and then there's a single <gasps> barrel. We don't have time. Well, we're going to be drinking Warehouse Delicious. Which isn't just. That's an oldie. A single barrel. Do we even have any more of these bottles? Or this is, is it. This is the final bottle. This is from 2018. I mean, like, we didn't open it in 2018, but. So, was it Whopper? Do we have a consensus? We have a yes, it was a whole... Oof. <laughs> was that supposed to be Whopper? Uh, Whopper's an old tub. Interesting. Uh, okay. Oh, Whopper's. Yeah, I think it was Whopper's. We'll try it. This is the last thing that I do. Yeah. My tummy is not happy about the amount of candy. <laughs> I can stomach no more. I can stomach no more. I never want to see candy again. Too bad we have a whole bag of it. <laughs> it's okay. It was for, uh, you know. Research, research purposes. purposes. <sighs> mm. I felt better than I feel right now. What are the options, says Devin? I feel great. We have these little. Kit Kat Reese's. Mini Reese's. wafers. Heath Whoppers. Salted caramel chocolate things. Yes. Um, and Butterfinger. And Butterfinger. But I think we already found the Butterfingers match mm. their little soulmates. Yes. Um, yeah. So, uh, I don't know. I mean, we kind of said the Whoppers on the, what was that one? Was it the Makers? Or... No, that's no, not that right. was the Four like Roses. A, that was the last ditch effort. We were effort. TBD on the Four Roses uh, pairing with the Whoppers or the Twix. Yeah. So it's still in play. Why didn't we do a caramel pairing? I think just because we didn't mm. have anything that was straight up caramel. We waited too long to get candy. Yeah. We did. Which we did. is sad. We did. I think we got to try Whoppers with this one. Get this on the palette. It's good. Has this bottle been open too long? I can't tell. No. My palette's kind of shot at this point. Thank you. Question for Sarah. Oh, all better pie crust. That's that's the stuff. I've done it once. I like it. It's time consuming. 
Who sent me the pie book? I feel like a jerk. Oh, that I was... I know... Well, now I'm just going to guess, and if I'm wrong... It's upstairs. I know exactly where it's sitting. What? Sorry. Time out. Well, Tea time. Well, I feel like that needs to be addressed. It does need to be addressed. Um... Um, I don't know what to say. Okay, from Whisper Eve, whoa. Uh, hey Chad and Sarah, just a belated birthday to Sarah. A late congrats on your two year anniversary. How do you remember these things? I don't know, because I barely remember them. Um, glad Zoe's okay. Nice on your Heaven Hill employee stance. Liked your low keys, which and hipster looks. And more for your whiskey train. Just, oh, the whiskey train. Uh, just catching up and a happy Halloween from your mystery horn guy. Love you both. <gasps> The horn! It's right over there! I Go get it, it, Sarah! I got a honk. Oh it. my god! Mystery horn guy. Oh shit. Oh, it's okay. I didn't spill any. Now we're demonetized. <laughs> no, not this late in the. Mystery horn guy! Do it like away from the mic. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe? We never get the horn out, except for a special occasion. Hey. It's a special occasion horn. Um, cheers to you. Thank you. Thank you. And a, I feel like I should do more. Mm. I haven't done enough. Wow. Holy. And also the remembering. And the remembering. Of all the things. Is phenomenal. So sweet. And just. Wow. Made my night. It was, I don't feel sick anymore. <laughs> <laughs> It's like I'm a real boy. Um, Wait, did I eat something? I and think then we you, I think did, yeah, we just yeah, got like... I got totally, was like, whoa. All right, get this back on the pallet. Yeah, Mike. I said I wasn't gonna eat any more candy, but I like. <laughs> <lied. laughs> Oh, it, that is good. It goes. Yeah, it does go. See, but now that my eyes have been opened to this Evan Williams Butterfinger thing. Mm. Well, I think that one is number one in our book. This is is really good. It's not number one, but it's, it's really, really good. good. It's really good. Wow. <laughs> that, I'm just, I'm floored. Uh -huh. We're going on that whiskey train. Gotta go on that whiskey train now. One day. We're gonna do it. It's gonna be an epic video. Yeah. I can't wait. Paul suggests that we use that $300 shocked face as the thumbnail. And I think that's a great, that's a great call. Great call, Paul. Great call, Paul. That's what they call him. No, I dig that pairing. That's good. That's good. No, it's not these. It's not the Tony Chocolonis. <laughs> Tony Chocolonis. Mm -mm. And now I don't want this. There's candy everywhere. I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might have... I think Whoppers were the peak pairing for this one. Do you think so? I do. Okay. I do. I you do. love how I keep saying I'm done eating candy, and then I open another candy. Yeah. Continues to eat candy. Mm, this is the problem. What is the whiskey train, Paul is asking? <gasps> Ooh. So there's a couple. Um, there is one in the U.S., I think, that... Well, goes. It's in Kentucky. It's called the Dinner Train. That one, but they do. It's like a small scale one, and they do um, like different. I mean, they drive and it's a dinner train, and they do different pairings and stuff, which is cool. They do like fun themed nights, very much a small scale thing. What we want to do is there's one in Scotland. Um, my understanding, and I'm totally. I haven't not looked at this in months because I've just decided that it wasn't going to happen. Um, but as two people who are really not into scotch at all, I thought, what better way to see two people who have a bourbon YouTube channel just jump in the deep end of scotch than to go on this bourbon or the scotch train. Uh, and it literally goes through Scotland and, and you pay, it's like room and board and, yeah, and all your and meals stuff. and all that stuff. And then they, you and get to tours. stop at all these tours. And but it was like $7,000? I think it was like 4500 per person. 
Okay. I can't remember exactly. Maybe it was seven total. I don't know. But I'm thinking, I don't know. We'll see. Sounds pretty good. It's a lot. <laughs> it's, it's a lot. But, like, that's also the cost of, like, a normal European vacation, I think. Right. For some people. Uh-huh. So if a we're National gonna, Lampoon's European vacation. If we're going to do something like that, I would love to take our that experience for us, film it, and share it with the people, right? Because I think a Scotch train would be very fun. Uh, to show people. And I just think like watching us learn about and potentially appreciate yeah. some scotches after being surrounded by everything would be amazing. So I want to do that. It's on my bucket list. Uh, I don't know what to do about it yet. We'll see. Maybe, oh, maybe it's a next year thing. I don't know. Maybe it's next year. Maybe it's 2023. We'll have to see if what's in the budget. We'll see. Ah, oh, thank you, Scott Pigsley. Linked it. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. If, well, if you go to the chat, you could probably copy and paste. Mm. That's yeah. That's where yeah. I found it. Um, yeah. Is that Vine Pair link? So, mm. uh, it's a bucket list item. I think it would make really fun content for you guys. I think it would be fun to see us, like I said, thrown into the deep end of Scotch. And I guess if you want to also book it and come along on the train with like, us, we you could. could share when we're going. Yeah. I mean, it's expensive. Yeah. But like, I would say, for us, it's. I mean. Can you? It's a business expense, technically. Sure. We would be making content out of it, and I wonder if we reached out to them and said, "Could we partner with you?" Because, but like my other thing is, like a fifteen percent discount. My <laughs> other thing is though, if you do that, they're expecting like good reviews, but I can't imagine something that costs that much to be bad. Yeah, right. Right. So I don't know. I'm a little hesitant to do the whole partnership thing because like, it's less about a review on the train and more of about capturing the experience right. so tbd i don't know we'll see we got a super chat from sean saying whiskey train field trip donation oh <laughs> thank you with some bookers here <gasps> you it was empty the second time you scare me every time wait where's my bookers here it is thank you sean <laughs> i want to see the yeah. Scenery, uh, I want to drink the scotch, I want to meet the people. Fares start approximately 7500 for a four-night round-trip excursion through Edinburgh, per Waverly, person? departing July 21st. A second tour leaving August 23rd will cost Oof. around 9800 mm. per person. Per person. I can't do it. It's too much. Uh, Todd's in. Takuba. <sighs> He's in. Okay, so what and I was whiskey knows. hesitant about the... Uh, Asking about the partnership deals. I'm no longer hesitant about that. I'm fully in. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it's Bourbon Night. Thank you for influencing us to start Whiskey Nose. Mm. Cheers and happy Halloween. Well, congrats, Whiskey Nose. Congrats, and we're so happy. <coughs> Think, welcome to the community. Welcome. We're welcome all in it. And welcome and good luck. Best of luck to you. Yeah. Enjoy your whiskey journey. Yeah. Oh. I just went on an emotional roller coaster about thinking that the Scotland thing was going to happen and then remembering what the price tag was. I thought it was like 5000 a person. Ew. It's <laughs> 10 Hey, Paul is one of our newest... We'll see how Black uh, Friday goes. <laughs> one of our newest patrons. Just remind us we're just $88 away from uh, reaching our 5K a month where we can hire a, uh, another editor. Uh, Paul. So that would be, that would be life-changing. Yes, thank you for, for coming on board. We do appreciate Paul, that. Paul, you're so kind. Yeah. Look at you. Yeah. And Tony, Tony Chocoloni back of donuts reminding that, you know, you could just do the same thing as a whiskey drive and make it a whole thing. That's kind of what That's true. we were thinking. Yeah. Just yeah. make it a whole thing. Mm -hmm. Ooh, try some haggis. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big old chunk of change. I don't know about that. So, uh, but 7, it's 14 days. days. Not too bad. That's the thing. That's yeah. That's true. That's true. That's true. But still, I've never spent that and like, I think much it's money like, in my whole it's life. It's like private tours at these stores. I know, too. but yeah. still. But still. That's my thing. Is like we could get the content out of it. But it hurts my soul a little to think about letting that much money go and it not being for like a car. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and also us being very bourbon focused. But see, not, that's what I think would be cool we're not about bourbon, it. But that would, yeah, that would be like. I think the, that would be fun is to watch two bourbon people get aspects. Yeah, dumped into the deep end of the mm -hmm. Scotch culture, would be fun. <laughs> Speaking of whiskey tribe, have you applied for MS Old Job? Oh. 
If we want to move uh, to Austin. We're not, we're not moving to Listen, Texas anytime soon. I'm also under no impression that I could replace Emma. Mm -mm. Emma is 10 out of 10. Rock star, like, amazing. I'm always I'm impressed by her. Yeah. She, I'm not surprised that other people wanted her. Yeah. I'm sure she was, had people beating down the door for other offers. Yeah, absolutely. She's just, and she went to she's another, just killer. Another Texas, um, Texas bourbon. Yeah. Good for her. I'm mm -hmm. happy. Absolutely. Everyone's everyone's success is great. Yes. We love it. A rising tide rises all ships. That's something like Raises that. Raises all ships. Whatever. Close. <laughs> so close. So close. So close. Um, yeah, I don't think I can have any more before Candy? my my teeth fall out. I think I'm gonna puke. This Booker's is helping though. <laughs> it bookers. settles the stomach. The Booker's oddly the settles, heftiness of it settles, it settles the, stomach. the stomach. Yeah, it does. It's like a peppermint tea. <laughs> <laughs> I but will it's be bookers. having some tea. But it's bookers. After this. Oh, that's good. Sleepy time tea. Ooh, sleepy time tea. I think we might finish that last episode of um, Hill House that we're rewatching. Ooh, spooky. Yeah. We've seen it before, but we're rewatching it because it's so spooky. Yeah, that's true. Perfect for Halloween. Felt like the right time. It did. So, there's that. There's that. I guess we are 15 minutes over time. And, uh, we are 16. Yeah. Well, again, mm. thank you for all the super chats. Thank you. Um, but yeah, Whisper Eve, very much appreciate the con contribution to the uh, train fund. And I mean, you've started. And thank you. Thank you've you to officially all like tonight. it's been started. So right. In the past, we've had things like a puppy fund that didn't pan out, but we did have a laptop fund that did pan out. Um, the puppy fund is a long journey. This one, I feel you like... You gotta clear it with that puppy first. Maybe 2022, 2023 yeah, could be a possibility. Mm -hmm. We'll see how... Uh, let's wait, we'll wait. We'll decide after tax season. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the scariest. The scariest the time, scariest of, the time of, the year. of the year. Really, April. the spookiest time. Yeah. Mm, yeah. But, there we go. Michelle Martin's husband. I love that. <laughs> like that one guy's, or the dad and the mom. Uh, -huh. uh that girl. Oh, gosh. Yeah. That was funny. All right. Well, I know you're just reading comments, and I love that. Bets on average age of people on this scotch train. Ooh, I'm going to go with like a good 60. F 50. Right in the middle. Right in the middle? Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking there's like a lot. I don't know. It's hard to say. Could we be the youngest people on the Scotch train? Well, you could, maybe. Could I be the youngest person on the Scotch train? <laughs> oh, I can't wait. <laughs> uh, Paul, no. Unless it just happens to be like the literally one time a year that the Sazerac truck has come and you show up five minutes after they have put it on the shelf. If those all those circumstances haven't happened... Mm. Unless you're willing to pay true secondary. Right. If it's on the shelf, it's going to be secondary. And Unless know. true secondary. Yeah. Hey, last super chat. Francisco. Francisco. Who has also sent many. Thank yes. you. Many super chats during this. Thank you so much. <laughs> you guys are real troopers for all that candy and alcohol. Happy Halloween and good night. Yes. I Thank need you, a, Francisco. a light breakfast tomorrow because, man. I didn't do a good job. Last little bit of bookers. Twas good. Was good. The average drinker, yes, that's yeah. correct. I, 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 I don't. I'll tell my age. I don't care. People are always like, oh, "Are you sad about getting older?" I'm like, "No, I have better stuff. I do better. I take better vacations. I have this person in my life. I have a great dog. A nice house. I'm happy about it." Yeah. I ha I'm not. I mean, I'm not a poor college kid anymore. Mm -hmm. Like. And there's Todd Cooper saying, "If you really, if you really want the stag, that's where you'll find it." Yeah, you he's not wrong. There. You pay for the convenience of it, but it mm. is a place that you will get it. It's true. It's true. Because they get it for secondary. Are you ready to sign off? I am. Okay. We gotta go get you a makeup wipe. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Give me some cold cream, everybody. Uh, I don't even know what that is. Cold cream. You just, you say that, and I define sweet, it. Sweet rolls. Okay. Define cold cream. <laughs> Cold cream is what ladies use to take off makeup. Really? Because I've never heard of it. Well, it's older. Oh, you're going to mansplain cold cream to me? I can't win. 
<laughs> Get away. Tell me more about my beauty routine. Ah! <laughs> Happy Halloween, everyone. This is scary for him. Uh... <laughs> Love you guys. You're the best. Thanks Love you for all watching. so much. I'm going to put this up on the screen. It says, thanks for watching. We will see you next Sunday. And bye-bye. Happy Halloween. Ew, don't do that. <laughs>